Start spreading the news I'm leaving today There are so many songs about this city. The Wikipedia list of songs about New York reads like the Dickens novel of hyperlinks. There's a reason for that. Cue montage. It is a city that is so rich with history and opportunity, especially for artists. Before the 1920s, Paris was the center of Western arts and culture. But the Harlem Renaissance created an explosion of jazz music and new forms of literature, followed by the innovations brought to New York by European artists seeking refuge during World War II. A whole new visual art movement was born in New York, abstract expressionism. That changed art history forever. And around that same time, you had the golden age of American music musical theater on the Great White Way, and the artistic mystique of New York only grew from there. And I won't knock the fact that for many people, moving to New York City is a dream, and to get yourself to a place where that is possible is truly an accomplishment. This is why I try not to get frustrated with people when literally every single time I say, yeah, I'm moving to New York, the response is always, Oh my goodness, congratulations, I'm so happy for you. As if anywhere I was before this was somehow less than and not where I wanted to be. I did not aspire to New York. I moved here because I had to. I had to take a step. Not a step up, just a step forward. I wanna be a part of I was born and raised and was living and working in Washington, D.C. But as soon as I decided I was going to turn my focus to music and trying to tour and perform live, New York started to make a little bit more sense just to be closer to my resources, like my producers. Some of my college friends, who once all lived in different cities, now all live here, and all my other friends at least tend to pass through. So in August, I made the not leap. <laughs> I came up here temporarily. These little town blues are melting away. I was so uncomfortable. I was crying every day and I was beating myself up for being unhappy. I knew how privileged I was just to be able to try living in this city. I thought my brain was just being ungrateful for what I was being given. If the New York streets are paved with gold, they're also covered in trash. New York is dirty. My skin, my eyes, my throat, everything is freaking out because of the air. And it's loud, as you can currently tell by the subway and the airplane and the siren that are currently passing me simultaneously. New York City does not exist to make you feel comfortable. Unless you have so much money, like good God, so much. But that is not the point. The fact that New York didn't let me feel comfortable turned out to be exactly what I needed. You don't grow as a person if you have built a life that is predictable and cozy. You grow when you face new challenges because you have to learn to overcome them. You grow when you meet new people because you have to learn how to interact with them. DC, my home, had become so comfortable that I knew that if I didn't leave, I wouldn't grow into the person I could become. So I woke up and I decided that I would look for an apartment. Two days later, I'd signed the lease. <laughs> Yay! So come take a tour of my apartment. This is the, uh, my knee is on a toilet. This is the door to the bathroom. It's just a nice effect, I don't know. studio apartment, which you can see from the fact that my bed is right there. Hello. So I live in one room, there's a bathroom, and there is a kitchen around the corner. But in New York, one room studio apartments are super common and personal space is just less of an issue here because, you know, space. I want to fully acknowledge that I got very lucky. My ceilings are high, I have a window, let alone like a 
big one. And I have a beautiful patio where I have spent many of my afternoons. And then of course there's the little things, my plants, my little succulents, which I bought this last one thinking that I could save it, but it was already dead, so. No. My wonky lamp that no matter what I do is always crooked. Some items from my grandmother's, my crystals, each of which have very intense meaning. I've got this table. I've always wanted a wood slab table ever since I was a kid. And it's so impractical and so beautiful. My little arrow garden with the little herbs that are gonna be big girl herbs one day. I've done everything I can to make this space into a warm, calm oasis. I I've been taking mornings slow. I've been writing and practicing a lot. I've been learning how to use an instant pot. I've also been assembling furniture by myself, like a boss. And I've also been figuring out how to record in a New York City apartment, which between neighbors with subwoofers and a local drum corps with no regular schedule is... <laughs> Most importantly, I leave my apartment once a day, at least. Feeling like you've made decent human contact with friends or strangers is very important when you live in New York and you live alone. When you're in New York, these streets will make you feel brand new. Big lights will inspire you. When I first moved to New York, I got coffee with a friend of mine who's been here for decades, and I am so glad I did because he said something that made all the sense in the world to me. He said, New York is about the people. You create your community here, from your friends, to your family, to the security people around your building, to the people behind the counters at the local businesses. So the first things I did when I moved into my new neighborhood, I found my coffee shop, found my supermarkets, and my deli. Oh my goodness, when I found my deli and I got my first chopped cheese sandwich from there. Chopped cheese is a New York version of a Philly cheesesteak. And the deli guys were nice to me. I was just like, I'm gonna be okay. Everyone else just wants to be okay too. Most of my interactions around here end in kind smiles. Or a fist bump. Fist bumps are a thing in New York. Didn't know that. Got caught off guard a few times, but now I'm ready. That is not to say that I have not seen people be horrible to each other on the street. That's also not to say that I haven't had somebody whip out their dick in front of me in New York. That has happened. But in general, people here are really open and nice to you because why not? Life is hard enough as it is. If I can. asking myself whether or not I feel at home and like <laughs> no my definition of home that life joy for, for lack of a better term that you feel when you're home is so tied to that safe familiarity that I feel with the neighborhoods and the people that I've grown up with here the life joy is about um, adventure and what new paths are gonna open up and what are you chasing now? And that is so cool and so exhausting because it's not easy and it's not safe and it's not familiar, but it is what I need right now. I know I need to say yes to the doors that are opening for me emotionally and artistically and blah, blah, blah. I think time and a whole lot of hard work will determine what those doors have in store. Is all of this to say that I'm currently writing a song about New York? Yeah, yeah, okay, I fell for it, I fell for it! I'm a walking artistic stereotype, hello. But, it's not done yet. Yeah, I just metaphor it all over you. And I am excited to hear what it's going to sound like. Helicopter, you are ruining my moment! I am excited to hear what it's going to sound like in the future. It's up to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more of my musical adventures, and be sure you have your notification bell turned on so that you don't miss a video. If you want more frequent antics, you can follow me on social media, and if you want to support the work that I do, which <laughs> I'm paying that New York rent now, I would so appreciate it if you joined my Patreon family. They are just the best group of people, I adore them, and I think you will too. 
go check it out. Let me know in the comment section what you would like to see from me next, and I will see you all soon. Bye!